planning for a class of smaller, agile, multipurpose warships to operate in the littoral zone began in the early 2000s. In July 2003, a proposal by General Dynamics, partnering with Austal USA, the American subsidiary of Australian shipbuilder Austal, was approved by the Navy. Designed specifically for the U.S. Navy, the Independence class comprises littoral warfare ships. The Austal effort to design a fast, 40-knot cruise ship served as the inspiration for the whole design. Its hull design later became the high-speed Trimaran Ferry HSC Benchajigua Express, and General Dynamics and Austal suggested the Independence class as a possible option for Navy plans to construct a fleet of more maneuverable, smaller, multipurpose warships to operate in the littoral zone and nearshore. The Independence variant of the LCS class is a surface ship that is networked, fast, nimble, and has a shallow draft. Though they can travel over broad waters, the LCS-2 and its successors, LCS-4, LCS-6, and LCS-8, among others, are built to defeat increasing littoral threats and to give access and dominance in the battle space of coastal waters. With built-in capabilities that also support missions like special operations and maritime interdiction, the light, agile, and networked LCS surface combatant offers the necessary warfighting capabilities and operational flexibility to complete crucial warfighting missions like mine warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and surface warfare. By combining quickly swappable, modular mission packages with an open architecture command and control system, LCS provides combat capability from its core self-defense systems, mission modules, weapon systems, sensors, carried craft, and mission crews are all part of the mission packages that allow the LCS to be reconfigured for different roles. Anti-Submarine Warfare ASW, Mine Countermeasures MCM, Surface Warfare SUW, and Special Warfare missions are among the modules that are included in these packages. Equipped with both manned and unmanned air, surface, and subsurface vehicles, focused mission packages are supported by the LCS Independence Variant Aircraft Facilities and watercraft launch and recovery capability. The C-frame, mission package armaments, sensors, and vehicles are interfaced with support services through a mission bay and three weapons modules. By allowing for easier and more rapid technological updates, modularity enhances the flexibility of LCS and helps commanders adapt to shifting warfare requirements. LCS operational groups, along with aircraft, ships, submarines, and joint and coalition troops at sea and on land, will be able to exchange tactical intelligence through a network system. What do you think of the U.S. Navy's Independence Class LCS? Write your comment below. This ends our video. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch videos like this, click any one of the two videos featured before this video ends. Enjoy watching. See you in the next one.